Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. I'm not going to be long sitting up chilling, uh, unwinding from the day. I still have some more things to do, but I'm taking a break right now. Uh, I want to talk to you real brief about uh, this thing that's floating around with J Jai, uh, or Ja Morant. Uh, and I uh, spoke on it in detail yesterday, some of the things that I felt was important to touch on. Uh, there's some things I want to clarify, and then there's this one big point I want to make. Uh, don't forget, we are in the middle of a fundraiser. Uh, as I stated in the video before this, in just looking at uh, how uh, Daniel Penny was able to generate one point, uh, how much million in 48 hours after being charged with the death of Jordan Neely, uh, how on code they are versus how on code we are in supporting things that need to be done in the community. But anyway, if you believe in the work we're doing, go to the description box, click the link and give. Uh, nevertheless, one way or another, let's talk. Um, look, I want to clarify a couple of things. Number one, when I talk about his youth, I am not providing an excuse. Uh, accountability is required even before adulthood. Uh, I've always uh, uh, required accountability for my children. My As a child, I was uh, required to be accountable for my behavior and there were consequences uh, to my negative actions and behaviors and decisions. Uh, in life, life renders to me, even as a grown man, a business owner, uh, a person who pays my own path, there are still consequences to my behavior and my actions. When I don't do the right thing, I get bad results. It's life. So everybody needs to be accountable. So me talking about his youth and talking about my youth and some of the choices I made when I was his age wasn't me giving him a pass. It was me saying that I think we expect more uh, than what is expected and i'm going to get to that in a minute i think that we need to teach accountability but you're not going to all of a sudden be accountable at 23 just because somebody is going to pay you 200 million dollars and i'm going to get to that uh, there's a growing up necessary and i don't think that we provide the support necessary as a community as black men to young black males on accountability on responsibility a lot of this stuff they're figuring out as they go now this kid is different he had his dad his dad has always been present. His dad has always been a major influence in his life and has a major input into his level of success. So with that being said, uh, he's got to own some of that. Um, he's got to own all of his decisions, but um, being 23, you do stupid stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but there's this thing going around talking about how stupid Jai is because of this pending $230, $250 million contract that he's got that kicks in at the beginning of next season that he's putting in jeopardy with this behavior of his and how stupid he is. And, uh, and the thing is, let me tell you something. Money does not change you. Money, the accumulation of money, especially in rapid form, does not all of a sudden mature you. It does not all of a sudden provide you with wisdom. It does not all, money magnifies who you are. If you are mature, if you make good choices, money's gonna give you more opportunities to make those good choices and to express that maturity. If you are by nature or, or by, by circumstance, uh, impulsive, violent, a uh, poor decision maker, money is simply going to magnify that. That's why you have so many instances of people who win the lottery uh, ending up with their entire lives screwed up on top of being broke because money doesn't also make you a good money manager. It simply means that you came about money in a way that was highly unlikely. You didn't have to work for it. You didn't have to develop and grow for it. You didn't have to do a lot. Your talent your some special talent, some special skill or some special circumstance puts you in a position for money. You got a settlement, you get whatever that doesn't normally turn out. Well, why? Because it takes a certain mindset 
to manage it. Now, we're not just talking about man managing money here. We're talking about the entire uh, behavior. You're taking a 23-year-old. Think about the 23-year-olds. And if we're going to be honest, it's a bunch of people walking around calling him stupid that simply hasn't had the amount of money and exposure to expose him. A lot of people my age calling him stupid that are simply not exposed because there wasn't social media when we were around. Um, and again, this isn't about giving him the past. This is about making it understood that maturity is a process of development, of growth, of being in the right environment, of having the right pressure at the right time and the right support system. It is a very complex dynamic that you find, you constantly find people that you're looking at and you're going, how, how are they make it, making that dumb decision? It's this erroneous idea that this erroneous postulation that because he has all his money on the deck, all of a sudden he's going to be a good decision maker. No, in a, in an environment, in a culture where men are predominantly measured by their bank accounts, he, he went from being an average person to an extraordinarily powerful young male, able to do and accomplish and be in places he would not otherwise be in. There is a sense of uh, invulnerability that the rules don't apply to me. I'm Ja. He's not the only one. You've seen it over and over again. Money simply turns people into who they really want to be. And the problem with Ja is it looks like he really wanted to be a thug. And that's more than likely an influence from the music culture, film culture to a certain extent, where we glorify the thug life, the gangster life. Uh, the girls want bad boys. So why not aspire to be, be that to a certain extent? And you don't feel the ramifications or the repercussions because... You, you got to think this kid is so talented that the rules have never really ever applied to him. He got away with so much stuff in school and in AAU and all these other places that it never really applied to him. He's finally in a space where he's going to be held accountable and he's not getting it. Uh, and again, this is under the assumption that this latest video is post the first video and not pre. Now, if this video actually is just simply one that's still out there, that was out there before the re previous incident, it just, it, sh it goes to show his state of mind. And he's out there. And you got to understand, this isn't his first incident with a gun. This kid's got like six incidences that involve guns. What's going on with the gun thing? And why is he fascinated with it? You And that's not a hard, that's not a hard search. That's not a hard pull. That's not a hard find. We know why. Uh, but again, I just want to make the point, having a lot of money doesn't make you smart. Having a lot of money doesn't make you wise. Having a lot of money isn't going to transform you into a good decision making and make you mature. That's development. That's process. That's environment. That's support system. That's consequences when they're necessary. He's going to have to mature rapidly because he's going to have to catch up with the curve of responsibility that belongs with this gift that he's been given. Um, and so it's up to him. It's a path to an unbelievable future for his family, but he's responsible for it. He's got to protect it. There are people out there that he's hanging with that don't care. They'll ride it until the, until the, until the wheels fall off, until it blows up, and they'll move on with some other life and talk and laugh about what happened when they were hanging out with Ja. They they don't have the mentality. I remember being a young athlete growing up in the hood, and even the, the G's would sit up and look and say, okay, this kid is smart and he's athletically gifted. He's going to make it out of here one way or another. And so something would pop off in me and my hot head. I'm heading up, and they were like, where the hell are you going? Man, take your ass home. You ain't getting to this. And the, the, the word was, words to the gangs were, he's off limits words to anything he's off limits why 
That's how people who really want you to win do. They say, this is the life I chose. You don't get to come to this life, though. Real people who care about you will keep you away from their mess so that you can thrive. If they're really your boys, they're going to sit up and say, man, you don't want to be in this life. You don't need to be right, man. We're going to go hang out. You go do your thing. Maybe we'll come over to your crib and chill. But, you know, you being out with us and doing our thing, we don't want you caught up in nothing we got going on. That's what real love is about. It's about saying, man, you made it. I'm out here doing this thing. And then maybe if they really get their heads together and you're in a position to put them down and they really about changing their lives, you can go and do that. But obviously, everybody's in that mature state. Nobody's thinking. And that even further puts in the light just how uh, amazing LeBron James has been. And this isn't a push for the, the whole gold argument. I don't make the argument. I personally don't believe that he is, but I think he's a remarkable kid. I'm calling a 38-year-old kid. Oh, my God, I'm getting old. But anyway, he's a remarkable kid. He was smart enough to put his friends down, get them trained, get them skills to where they were able to support themselves and they're all millionaires now. Um, he is a billionaire and he did it while he's still playing. Uh, that is rare. That's why it's only a couple of billionaire athletes with all that money flowing over decades. There are only, what, three of them? Tiger, Mike, and LeBron, and, you know, you know, Jordan translate, I mean, totally trans, uh, transformed the game and the Jordan thing and all that stuff. So he set, he study stacking, but that's how his came about. You know, he laid, pa pa paved the path, all this endorsement stuff to be where it's at right now. Crazy. Uh, Tiger was, is Tiger. Uh, but LeBron built this. He, he's tra he's revolutionized so much, and he's done it without any major scandals. He's done it by being a good husband, by, while doing being a good husband and father. Um, I can't speak on anything that I've heard in the circles that I hang around about he's doing. Doesn't mean that he hasn't. I've heard a couple of rumors that never really built up steam, which tells me it couldn't have been true because as big as this kid is, if it was true, it would have blew up. Uh, not saying that he is perfect. What I'm saying is that he's carried himself in a way that is respectful, uh, that doesn't uh, disrespect his home or his family. You can tell his kids love him and respect him. That's huge. Um, but that's rare. At, at the age he started, this kid was a multimillionaire before he left high school and became a significant figure in space so he wasn't just getting money he was becoming this larger than life image at an unbelievably rapid pace and he managed it that's not normal while we would want to believe it is it's not normal look at how many people blow up and screw up great opportunities because they simply haven't grown up so the idea that all of a sudden this new contract was going to make Jai grow up we need to let that go John needs to damn sure grow up, but that's going to take some consequences. And so instead of defending him, you know, I don't think you run roughshod over the kid, but he definitely has to meet consequences. I think a lot of the problems that I've seen with blacks is how long it takes for them to have to deal with consequences. I, I wish someone would have uh, pulled R. Kelly's coattail a long, long, long time ago, and maybe he wouldn't be in the bind he's in. Can't say for certain, but when you study giving them pass, when you study looking the other way, when you study facilitating it, when you study ooh ah in it, when you're sitting up saying, oh man, he's so awesome, he's so great, she can do this, she can do that, all this stuff that happens and you look up and the person's life is ruined because nobody had the guts to tell them that they were fucking up. It's time that we sit down and we really look at where we are as a people and realize, man, we're screwing ourselves. I said this over and over again. If there's no enemy on the inside, the enemy on the outside can do us no harm. But yet, 
here we are. So again, I'm gonna get off, uh, get back to what I'm doing, but I'm gonna drop, I had to drop this on you. Uh, on that note, look, I'm gonna get off. Um, as I said earlier, if you believe in the work that we've done over the last 30 years, if you don't know, if you haven't followed me, if you followed me, you know what we've done. If you don't know, if you haven't followed me, there's a link in the description box. Click the link and just go to the site or Google Dr. Rick Wallace, Google the Odyssey Project, Google and look at just how much I've given of my life uh, to the causes. There's so much more work to be done. But on that note, I'm out of here. I hope that I shared something that you can take. I hope you listen to it. If you disagree, fine. Uh, but uh, I've just never seen it. You know, money uh, I've seen and, and I've been around it uh, with athletes, with entertainers. I've been around it. And I'm telling you, it's the fastest way to jack somebody up because all it does is magnify their ability to be who they are. And if they are, if they are crashed, I mean, you give them money, the crash is just going to be greater. On that note, I'm out here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.